In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a signature that looks like this one. It's like a pop-out signature. Um, okay. So I'm just going to X out of this one. Now, um, I have a render right here, a Halo render already. Um, you just choose whatever render you're going to use for the signature. So go File New, and I'm going to get an image that is 500 by 600. Now make sure this is important. Um, click Advance Options, and on the Fill With option, click Transparency. Then click OK. Now you should get this. Uh, I'm just gonna make this bigger. Okay. Get your rectangular select tool and get a and then just select a box that looks decent size okay and then get your bucket fill tool and just fill it with white now you're going to want to set your color to black and get an abstract brush okay then set the opacity down to about 60 or so um, you can get abstract brushes off of deviantart.com and I have a tutorial showing you how to download those and you probably just search abstract brushes and you could get some decent ones now you're just going to want to brush all along here Um, let me just... Okay, now when you're done, set the color to white and get a soft brush. And you probably just look up soft brush on DeviantArt and download whatever. And then you're just going to want to lightly brush along this to make it a little lighter. Don't go overboard. I just use like three clicks and I'm done. Okay. Now on your layers dialog, <clears throat> on your layers dialog, you're going to want to duplicate this layer. Then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Wait for the box to pop up. Okay. Now set the options to 13 for horizontal and vertical and blur method I I R select that one then click OK alright then on your layers dialog again on the background copy go to mode multiply OK then you can go ahead and merge down now, now we want to um, um, colorize this, put some color into it, and to do this you're really going to want to um, look at what color your render is. My render is kind of a orangish color I'm guessing, so I'm just going to use the color balance tool. You can also use colorize, and I'm just going to... Um, mess around with that okay now that that is colored you can go ahead and select or actually never mind you're going to want to add a new layer and then set your color to black, your foreground color to black and then go to, hold on alright then go to edit stroke selection and for stroke line, for the line width, put in 10 or around 10 and make sure y this is on a new layer then set the color to white and then go to edit 
stroke selection and then set it to 7 and set it, the color back to black and then edit stroke selection and for line width put in 4 then you can select one and set this layer mode to overlay and that should give it a nice border okay now for your render so make sure your render is on one solid colored background then get your fuzzy select tool or your magic wand click the background then go to select invert and go ahead and copy that to your clipboard I'm just going to do that by pressing control C and on a new layer well you don't have to do this on a new layer um, paste that in so it might be too big like mine is definitely way too big so just use your scale tool and just uh, mine's still a little large Now I'm just going to set it like right there. And then just go ahead and anchor it. Okay. Now that you have that, you can go ahead and add your text. Um, I'm not going to have a whole I'm not going to make a big deal out of the text. And you can set the opacity down a little by dragging this at the top. And then go ahead and merge all the layers down. And you have a pretty decent looking signature. Now to keep the transparent background, um, save it as dot png that's very important save it as a png file okay so i hope this tutorial helped